Welcome back, everyone. It is, uh, what, August 5th, the first Friday in August, coming up on the first weekend. And that all means we are inching ever closer to the beginning of the new school year. We keep saying that, and teachers and children are cringing. Parents might be throwing something at the TV right now, but the yes. parents are smiling. <laughs> exactly. Sure. And as the summer does wind down, we want to make sure that your kid's laptop is fully prepared when they do eventually head back to school. Here to tell us more about that, our good friend Stan Prager from Go Geeks in East Longmeadow. So Stan, what should you be doing to make sure your laptop is pristine before you go back to school? Says the woman whose laptop, Says the laptop is, is not is still at home and has still not brought it in. I know. Oh. We won't use you as an example, however. Right. Let's so, not. Use someone <laughs> responsible as an example. So, so I, I, I realize that the office supply stores start uh, back to school back in uh, uh, Valentine's Day. But for the rest of us, we try not to think about this. But, but it's starting to be about that time. And every year at Go Geeks, we get phone calls from parents the day before their kid's ready to fly off to college. Their laptop doesn't work. It doesn't turn on. It's infected. They never and because when they come home from the school in the spring, they it's still in their gym bag. They spend the whole summer mm -hmm. with their phone or their iPad. They don't really look at it. And oh my God! So mm -hmm. there's certain things you need to do to prepare yourself for back to school. All right, let's start so, with number one. Number one. Is it time for a new laptop or is this one adequate? In other words, is this laptop the one that Lincoln used to type the Gettysburg address on? <laughs> if that's the case, do your poor kid a favor, okay? Time for a new laptop, all right? So that's number one. Um, if, if, it if it turns out that that laptop is fine and you're going to keep it and you're going to use it, mm -hmm. that's cool. Get it checked out. Mm -hmm. Now, at GoGeeks, we offer free evaluation. Some other people do that as well, but that's that's kind of our focus. Free evaluation. You get your computer into us. We'll look at it. We'll let you know. You know, does it need? Is it is it infected? Does it need work? If not, then we recommend a solid tune-up to optimize the performance. So you could tune it up like a car to make it run better or Absolutely. faster. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll check security and we'll do all that stuff. Make sure all the updates are done. Mm. Make sure you know turn off things that don't need to run. So it's a tune-up process. It's relatively inexpensive, and then you know that the kid's going off to school. With a laptop Ready that's functional. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long does that take now? I know mm -hmm. you mentioned some people wait till the last minute. Right. How quickly can you get that done? If it's a if it's a tune-up issue, we can usually do it within a, within a day or so. Oh, okay. If it's a if it's like badly infected or if it's a laptop like 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 Flindy's, like mine, then you might. Take I a think few, her laptop then, is an urban then, legend then, at this point. Might, I don't actually believe she owns it's one. It's actually so bad that I barely use it. So I wonder why. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, that yeah. would take some time. That would take yeah, some time. All right. So so then the next thing, Microsoft Office, which is Word, Excel, PowerPoint. That kind of thing, okay? If you're going away to college, a lot of the colleges have, you have access to free Microsoft Office and you don't need to buy it and you mm -hmm. can install it. A lot of colleges, not all, okay? If your kid's in high school, and of course today in, in high school, laptops just as important as it is in college. It sure is. You're gonna need, you should go down to like Staples or a wholesale club and buy the latest Microsoft Office and get it installed down there um, so that they've got the latest version because that's okay. kind of important. Now, how right. about uh, antivirus protection to make sure yeah. we don't get a new virus once you get rid of the old ones? How did you know that that was number four on the list? Uh, I'm a mind reader. I mean, it's just amazing. So anyway, I, 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 I'm not worthy. No, but, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, so antivirus, very important. Um, some schools have requirements as far as what kind of antivirus is on there. Mm -hmm. Many of them don't. They just want you to have something. Mm -hmm. You know, Viper's the one we recommend. There's other options on there, but that's part of the whole getting it checked out. You know, we look at it. Do you have the right security on there? make some recommendations, that kind of thing. So that's important. Um, and then finally, uh, and a lot of people don't think about this, some way to back up your data. So if your laptop is stolen or it falls in the swimming pool or somebody dumps a beer on it or all the things that happen to kids' laptops in college, <laughs> right. and they've worked on this paper all semester, it's gone. Um, it, you know, what you want to do is use some kind of cloud storage. Uh, Google Cloud is a good option. Mm -hmm. Dropbox, there's a lot of free options out there where you can drop the paper in a, in a folder on your desktop and you can open it anywhere in the world from a web browser, or if you're using your, you know, if your phone or your iPad, you can also work on it there. So wow, it gives you some nice. flexibility. That's very important. It mm -hmm. is very important, and most people do not have a backup solution, and those are the people who suffer the most. So I strongly recommend it. All right, oh, thank, yeah. you, thank you, Stan.